Hello and welcome to my Bedtime Mindfulness for Skeptical Parents Challenge. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to day one of my mindfulness challenge and an easy way to practice mindfulness. I'm Valerie Grossman, registered social worker and founder of Talking Sleep, the company that brings you effective, personalized sleep solutions based on your baby's biology and family's values without ever asking you to do any crying it out or sleep training. What's mindfulness? It's basically developing skills to be able to be in the present moment. Why should you care about it? And why would it help your bedtime? Being in the present moment with your baby rather than feel, thinking about the future or the past, for example, worrying whether you put them down on time or worrying whether about the things that you need to do after you put them down. Uh, and instead focusing on the present moment with your baby can help you get bedtimes faster and easier, more effortlessly and with more joy. Practicing mindfulness also has lots and lots of benefits, specifically an increase in positive emotions, stress reduction, and as I said, an ability to enjoy bedtime a little more. Okay, so just a little bit of background about how I even came across mindfulness and why I think it's such a great idea. Uh, for you. The first time that I found out about mindfulness was actually when I was completing my master in social work. We were asked to sit in class with our eyes closed in silence. And I thought to myself, this is really awkward and was not really into it. But over the last seven to eight years, when I got to know it better and practice it more, and I've seen the benefits of it, and particularly when I was implementing it in terms of my baby's sleep and in terms of how I parent, um, I just can't but share it with you so that you can benefit from it too. First really easy technique that I'm going to share with you is actually from uh, Jeff Warren uh, presented in the Calm app and what I did is I just kind of put it together and added a little bit having a baby into it so that it's more applicable for you uh, and the technique is called home base. Ready? Okay. Find a quiet, peaceful place where you're not gonna be disturbed. <laughs> Just kidding. That's not gonna happen. Not with a baby and definitely not while we're social distancing. Okay, find a place where you're less likely to be disturbed. And if you have to have your baby or your toddler with you, that's completely fine. I'm gonna keep that in mind as we go forward with this mindfulness practice. Okay, so get comfortable, sit in a comfortable position or lay down if you can. Uh, and we're gonna do what we're gonna do is try to identify a home base. What a home base is is basically a focus point in your body or on your baby's body, depending on whether your baby or toddler is joining you, uh, that you can really focus on and really focus on the details. What does this do? It brings you into the present moment. It helps your bi mind, mind and body focus on what's going on right now, rather than being preoccupied with what happened leading up. To sleep time or what's going to happen after sleep time okay so find your home base this can be your breath but it doesn't have to be it can be a sensation in your body um, it can be if you're focused on your baby for example it can be uh, how it feels to touch their cheek or arm or hand uh, it can be really anything that you would like to focus on that you can experience uh, either through touch or through focusing on what your body or on what an area in your body feels like. So for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try uh, it with my hands on my lap. So get ready and do this with me. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to sit comfortably with my legs on the ground. I'm going to close my eyes because it helps me to concentrate on just one uh, specific body sensation and I'm going to concentrate on the way my hands feel resting on my lap. So some things that I might notice or pay attention to are going to be how they're resting on my lap, the warmth that I feel in my palms, the air that's at the back of my hands, the moisture between my hands and my lap. And I'm taking some deep breaths really to help me focus on those bodily sensations right now.
If you're having thoughts while you're sitting there in silence, watching me with my eyes closed, um, just know that it's normal and most people do experience those thoughts. So what you can do is acknowledge that you have the thought and say to yourself, I'm having a thought and that's okay. Right now I'm focusing on the way my hands feel on my lap or if you're with your baby, the way their skin feels in my, on my hand. And anytime a thought comes up, simply do that again. So having a thought and right now I'm focusing on the sensation of my hands on my lap. So try this for a couple minutes. We're going to do this for about a minute right now. You might take some deep breaths also, slowly. And really concentrate on that home base that you identified. Notice all the details of how it feels. You might notice sounds in the room, like humming, or if your baby is doing something, you can notice how they're breathing. And you can go back to that sensation that you're focusing on, such as your hands resting on your lap or touching your baby. Congratulations, you completed day one of our Bedtime Mindfulness for Skeptical Parents Challenge. I hope you enjoyed it. In the next few days, I'm going to share different strategies so you can try different ones to see which one feels best for you and works best for you and your baby. Uh, if you completed the challenge for today, don't forget to post day one done and tag at Talking Sleep to your Instagram stories to make sure that it counts so that you're entering a draw to win a free one-on-one -on -one consultation with my amazing team member, Mackenzie. If you enjoyed this video, comment, like, and tag other people, as well as subscribe to our channel because we will be posting lots more in the coming months.